Hi everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. In today's video, we're going to be going through how to add a pop-up and an announcement bar like this one. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll be go we'll be using uh, our Sunny Days uh, Squarespace website template. Um, it is available in our shop if you would like to have it and customize it. Um, but let's get started. So, um, just as a quick disclaimer, uh, both the pop-up and the announcement bar are paid features. So, um, I believe they are both under the business plan, the, for Squarespace. Um, I think you need to pay for the business plan, um, or, or higher. I would say. Uh, so definitely just keep that in mind. Um, right now I'm using a free uh, site. Uh, it's a template, so um, it's not fully paid. Um, but once you pay for it, it'll set up um, and it'll work properly. So first the announcement bar. Uh, you can go access this a couple different ways. So first you can go to marketing and then marketing tools and you can select announcement bar or you can go to website and then I think it's website tools. Yeah, uh, announcement bar and it's going to pull up the same information. So by default, it'll say uh, disable announcement bar. It's going to want to click the drop down and click enable. And here is where you can type your message um, and make your announcement. Ooh. Uh, so you can type whatever you want. As you can see, you can uh, bold, uh, italicize, underline, and link uh, out. So that's nice. Uh, some great options there. Um, and you can also do a click through URL. So if you want to add a specific page, you can hit shop all, um, like you're able to do that and all of it, it's going to be, uh, clickable. Uh, so you can type whatever message, uh, you want here. Let's say like black Friday sale, um, or holiday sale. Um, and then you can add, you know, discount code. Um, you can say now open like, have fun. Woo. So uh, whatever you want to say and write, you can do that and then just hit save. So again, you have to upgrade for this to show up on your site. Um, it will kind of leave uh, information up there for now. Uh, to change the color, you can hit site styles. Now the thing to remember about changing the color is it's going to be based, like the color theme is going to be based off of the first one. So the, your first section, uh, that's the color. So if you have, um, let's say the lightest one on the home page, and then you have bright one selected on the about page, you're going to have to, uh, adjust and update the colors on all of them. But we can go here. Um, I normally should highlight. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Cause I clicked it. My bad. Okay. Sorry. Let's go back. I like highlighting and then it's going to have the announcement bar option. So you can change this to whatever color you like. Same with the text. Pretty simple, pretty standard uh, Squarespace kind of functionality. Um, now here you can also do the pop-up or you can go back to where it said marketing, marketing tools, and then promotional pop-up. And again, this is up, like you can upgrade to have access to this. Once you're ready to enable it, uh, once it's paid for, you can disable or enable it, whatever you'd like, uh, just toggle this. Now you have a couple different options. Let me just save that. Okay, that's fine. 
So we can change the layout. So um, if you want an image, uh, you kind of have like free reign. You know, this is more of a, a styling choice. Um, cute little pop up on the front or on the bottom. Uh, this one's pretty standard, I feel like. So let's select that one. Uh, you can oh, just save. Um, and then uh, the action is going to be so. Uh, let's say you want to sign up for a newsletter, you can do that, or you can just have click a button and it can link to a, um, a blog post or a product, uh, totally depending on what your business needs. Um, I always recommend having a newsletter, um, and if you do, you can kind of add that information, um, storage and connecting like uh, your email uh, marketing provider is kind of a separate topic. Um, but you can just add that in. Um, or again, if you just want it, let's say shop latest, you can do that. And then you can link it to your shop. Kind of whatever you want. Again, this is all, I'm just kind of showing how to set this up. Content is going to be the heading and the body. So display and timing, you can select if you only want it on the first page, on certain pages, and then how you want it to show up. Do you want a timer and scroll? Show on a scroll, so after people like scroll, in this case, 25% down, 50% um, down, show on a timer after five seconds, you know, like you kind of get to decide. And then how often um, the visitor will see the pop-up again. So you can say don't show again until uh, if they sign up for the newsletter. Uh, you know you kind of can select your uh, choices there. Uh, your image you can add any image you'd like for the the pop up, and then styling. There's a few styling options. Uh, you can change the font. Um, change the color, kind of make it your own, make it fit your branding. Um, and you can change the background, um, that would be this. And the button, sign up, all of this stuff. So you have like all your styling edits there. And again, once you're paid and you have a paid plan, this will start showing up. If you are doing it on a trial site or a um, tr uh, like just temporary, it's not gonna like save it. So I can exit out and it's not gonna work. So just once it's paid for, it will work and it'll show up. Um, but yeah, hope that helps. Um, I think pop-ups and announcements bar announcement bars are great. Uh, yes, they are probably annoying for people using it, but they are still effective. So definitely check that out for Squarespace. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button for notifications and comment below if you have any other questions. Thanks so much.